Okay, so this is Lex at MaxFuture.com, and I am going to now make my second hype video tutorial. And in this hype video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually make an iOS app for the iPhone or iPad using Hype, which is an HTML5 animation program, which allows you to make web animations. But I can show you then how to make your little web animation and then export it into something called PhoneGap and Xcode. Now PhoneGap is something that you can put in Xcode to turn HTML5 uh, content into, into simple apps on the iPhone and the iPad. So let's check it out. Up a hype project and uh, here it is. Uh, remember the hype I showed you last time uh, how it works you've got different windows over here I've got my little inspector window which is key and over here I've got my scene button you can hide scenes and then you can show scenes and I have only one scene so let's call it scene one and in scene one I just have like I guess I just have some words and letters you know f come in and remember the way hype works is you can test your scenes in preview in Safari let's see you know this is uh, some of the preview it's kinda simple it's kinda rudimentary it's not a great it's not a great um, you know a great app that I'm making but this is just a test so let us um, let's make some more scenes so I'm gonna add scene 2 I'm going to clone scene one uh, using this little button down here. Duplicate scene. That makes it easy to keep a lot of the same content and features. I'm going to call this scene two. And let's, um, let's get rid of this stuff. We don't need this text in scene two. So I'm just going to insert an element. I'm going to insert a text button and I'm gonna start write something. I'm gonna write, uh, how about, um, this is a tutorial. Let's see, I'm gonna write this, this, this is a tutorial on how to use Hype to make an iOS app using PhoneGap and Xcode on a Macintosh. Um, what else do you want to add in there? So we got that. Uh, you know, we could we could make it fancy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's just make a simple app just to demonstrate that that this uh, this way of putting it on an iPhone or iPad works. So let's um, scene one we're gonna have a button here. So let's add a button that goes to scene two. So here's a button and um, we're gonna drag the button here and we're gonna say go to first page. So this is gonna be go to first page and then we're gonna go over the inspector. We're still on that button. Remember that's how we link it and we're gonna say go to um, uh, on mouse click go to jump to scene go to scene two and we're gonna make it a, a push left to right um, push left to right transition so if we want to preview it you know we launch the, the browser here let me uh, let me bring it down here so you can see what it looks like uh, if I go click here, it brings you to, this is a tutorial on how to use Hype to make an iOS app using PhoneGap and Xcode on a Macintosh. So let me close that out. Um, so we got scene two, and um, let's now, um, let's add a scene three. Let's duplicate scene two, and um, we're going to, go again to this little star thing, duplicate scene. So I've got a clone of scene two and I'm gonna call that scene three. 
uh, and we can add some animation. Let's add some animation to scene two. So what we're gonna do is we want the text to come rolling in after you start scene two. So I'm gonna press the record button and uh, I'm gonna move this thing forward two seconds and then this is the text track and then press this uh, keyframe here and so when it's at two seconds we want it here but when it's over here we want it outside the um, outside the picture so then as the page starts the text moves in um, and we also want to add a button that will take you to the third page so we're going to add a button and we want the button to move also with um, with um, you know flying in but we want the button to fly in from over here when it starts at one second and look the button and the text will go in at the same time and we want the button to we're highlighting the button and now we're going to go to the the actions for the button and we want to pick uh, action jump, jump to scene and we want it to go to the third scene so the second button on the second page will go to the third and we want to do a push right to left and in scene three we're just going to write let's say something else like um, this concludes the demonstration that I can get a hype HTML5 animation project into Xcode through PhoneGap, thus creating a simple iOS app for the iPhone and iPad. There we go. So we're just going to have that on the last page. And let's test our little app here. We, we go to the preview. Let me, um, I mean, it's not the best formatting right here. So this is just a test. I press the first button. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. We got this, this tutorial on how to use the hype button. I press the second button. That takes me to the third page. So let's, let's see how we're going to get this on to um, Xcode. So that's going to be the second part of this tutorial. Um, now to get your hype project into Xcode, you're going to need something called PhoneGap at PhoneGap.com. And that's a, like a free, um, a free, I guess, plugin for Xcode that will allow you to put HTML5 content into Xcode and make an app without doing much. So go to PhoneGap, and I guess you download PhoneGap uh, 0.9.5.1 and install that. I'm going to end up with um, this folder called uh, PhoneGap 0.95.1 and you'll see in it there's different folders and what you want to do is you want to go into the iOS folder and there's a PhoneGap installer and you're going to um, you're going to click on that and um, you're going to install PhoneGap into Xcode and um, so just click all the way and uh, it's going to just install. So I'm going to stop right here but because I've already installed it. But you're going to install it and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so you're going to launch Xcode and you're going to go create new project. And you're going to see when you create a new project uh, under iOS, you're going to have application and you using the arrow buttons you can see you have these different little windows and now you've got this thing called phone gap based application so you're going to select that and then press next and let's call it um, um, 
hype, give it a name, hype app max future. Hype app max future and press next. And where you're gonna you're gonna create it somewhere. I am gonna create it in uh, the documents folder. And I'm gonna go create and boom there's my app here is Xcode and here's my app now the first time you run this you're gonna see that there's a little bit of an error because I'm gonna I'm gonna press run and when it builds is gonna be a little bit of an error but you can fix that so it's building build su succeeded and uh, here's my simulator. Let me bring it in the window. Here's my simulator. And it says phone gap, but error. Because there's just like a little bug, I guess, in phone gap that you can easily fix. And this is what you're going to do you're going to go and find the www folder in your phone gap project. Now remember, I had saved phone gap in um, in my documents folder so let's let's go to documents and in there I've got uh, the hype uh, app max future and I've got this www folder well all you have to do to get this working right is take that folder and drag it into S, into uh, Xcode right under the name of Hype App, your Hype App, um, um, and you want to make sure then you you check off Create Folder Reference uh, when the window pops up, and I did there, and you press Finish, and now the www folder with your with your phone gap assets are there in Xcode. So I am now going to stop my uh, simulator, simulator and run it again. And I've got success. This is basically phone gap saying it's working. Hey, it's phone gap and it's working. So that's great. Now, how do I get my HTL? M5 project that I created in Hype into Xcode. Well, let's see what we do. So the next thing you're going to do now to create your um, your Hype animation is that um, you're going to go up to uh, up to the file export and export your Hype animation. Okay, so here's what you do. You, um, you're in Hype, and you go to File, Export HTML5. Now you have two choices, Export Folder, Export Folder, or to Dropbox. Click Folder, and you're going to get this window, and telling you about browser compatibility, and click Export, and it's going to give you a place to dump it. And what I suggest is you dump the HT, the, you know, the hype app uh, that you've created folder into your uh, Xcode project and put it right next to, uh, actually, you can just dump it into the www assets in PhoneGap. So I'm going to export it right in there. And I'm not going to export it as created and closing folder. Uh, so it's just going to dump the HTML file into your WW folder, which now is in Xcode. So here we go. I'm saving it, and now we'll go check to see what we do in Xcode. Okay, so now we're in Xcode. So what are we going to do in Xcode? Now, if we look in here, we see we have our hype content. And what you're going to do here is very simple. You're going to um, go double click your H hype HTML this is your hype project and you see here uh, there's some code that says copy these lines to your document and copy so you're gonna copy between the, these two green lines 
So you're going to copy where it says div to here and into div there. And that's basically, I guess, JavaScript that links to your HTML5 project. So you're going to copy that. I'm going to click copy. copy. And then I'm going to go open the index that PhoneGap created. And here's the easy part. You just you're just gonna you're gonna highlight that whole content that's in that index. You're gonna highlight that. I'm gonna keep the shift key down, highlight it, and then I'm gonna paste the code over that. So it's gonna erase everything that's in the index HTML that's there and I'm going to replace it with that code from the hype app HTML. So here I go. So if you look, that's all I've got now. So if you look now, the index HTML is only this, right? So I'm going to close that. And that's pretty much it. Now watch what happens. I am going to first of all, I'm going to I am going going to go into Xcode and I am going to do a clean. I guess that shuts down the simulation and, and cleans it up. Clean uh, was successful. And I'm going to do a run and build. Now watch this. Uh, and look at this. I can do this in the iPhone 5 simulator. And here we go. It says build succeeded and Let's see what happens. Here is the hype app I created. It's running. And look, there it is. There it is. Max future iPhone app. Here is it. In, it's in the simulator on the iPhone. And this is on iOS 5, I guess. Look there. There's the second page. I press the button. This is a tutorial on how to use Hype to make an iOS app using PhoneGap and Xcode on a, on a Macintosh. And I go to the, uh, oh, I got a typo there. This concludes the demonstration that I can get a Hype HTML5 animation project into Xcode through PhoneGap, thus creating a simple iOS app for the iPhone and iPad. Now I'm going to continue to toy with this to see if I can get rid of this little you know white margins I think you, you gotta go in and do some code there but 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 look the bottom line is I put a, a hype app on um, the iPhone simulator which means uh, you can also get it on the iPhone or the iPad very cool